Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Skippy and these are my segments. Um, today I want to kind of try to show you a little bit about more um, regarding these uh, objects in the clouds, these um, unidentified objects in the sky, devices, um, technology and whatnot. Watch this video, it's a perfect example of things forming in the clouds, um, the way that your perception will throw you off. See, it kind of looks like a seahorse. Kind of, or maybe if you look at just the top, maybe the big bad wolf from Little Red Riding Hood. But I'm going to go with a seahorse, but watch it unravel. We'll see that it's actually a kind of like a, a a spiral, as if uh, it's like a an elemental DNA, so to speak. Um, but you'll see the cloud start unwinding here. Okay, it's getting now. If you look closely. The arm that comes out that would be the seahorse's nose and snout or whatever, followed by the head, that's actually connected to something that you can't see. Um, think of this as like a humongous record player stylus um, with the head being the top that actually goes into the armature that goes back into the pivot that, you know, moves the arm that allows you to put it on the record. Well, that's kind of what you're looking at. If this thing was to pull itself back up, um, so to speak, then it would, uh, you would see these that are coming out of the bottom would go back up in. The thing that they go back up in would go back to the joint where, excuse me for a second, um, where it makes the first bend. And then that bend would pull up to the second bend, see? Um, and then it would go up into the housing that um, is a top, which would be the head. And then the nose, you see, all of that would fold back down onto the nose and then that would go back to the device and it continues um, on a grand scale. This is just a very small, small portion of the actual event that's taking place. By the way, if you're into orbs, um, things of that nature, that's a shiny ball. You know, magicians will give you the shiny ball while the true action's going on behind, you know, where the main distraction is. So uh, I've got a video that shows that, the, the intricacies and the expedient, um, concise movement of, of this. It's, it's, uh, it's amazing. So, you know, we, we, we don't know the technologies that we have today. Um, you know, power that we pay dearly for every month uh, is free. Um, it's from the source. Uh, you know, Tesla was onto this with the wireless technology and everything else way back when you know star trek um if you look at the original series with you know richard you know lee uh, Nimoy and and anyway the captain kirk and spock and those cats the technology that they had on there you know they touched their chest and it activated a transponder that probably was the bluetooth um they had the doctor had the tablet that he would come in and he had a stylus and he'd write with and you know you there were no wires there back then you had telephone lines you had you know you had to be connected that way you had the styrofoam cup with a string tied between another one and you would pull it tight and you could hear the vibrations resonate well you know people there was a lot of stuff that went on to uh make that power not free um check this video out this all of this ties in together um, this device actually that you're gonna look at and watch this it's amazing poof now look at the center of it when it happens right about now I think here it comes it's digesting the information and now it's processing it because light is information fiber optics people think it without the without the fiber wire because we don't need that either all of these things were developed to be able to put a meter on and to tax these services that the all that is is provided for us free of charge and the tyrants the the uh, rockefellers and the fricks and the morgans and pre morgan was the rothschilds uh the bushes um you know the oil tycoons, the industries, um, have have kept us down uh, and charged us for things that are totally free. You want to talk about a true pirate, a true tyrant? 
someone that will murder people at the cost of a dollar and not get charged with it because you know that's what that's what happened with the railways the steel industry um the first strike frick was an employee of the people of the steel industry and uh they were striking because of conditions and whatnot and finally they'd had enough people getting killed people dying on the job nobody cared just get here and work longer shut up do your job get your check i know it's not much but deal with it you know that type of mentality is what has enslaved us you know we have to work and we have to work because we need cool things because these cool things make you happy in life and you have to be happy in life if you want to be able to go out with the joneses to to dinner and and you have to be equal so it is sickening when you realize um the deceit it truly is so anyway this this right here i can tie into this picture which is the same as this it's just a little magnification there it's the same device it's the same entity it's the same whatever it is um and this is a prime example of we know something's there we can't put our fingers on it because either uh it's undefinable or it's been kept such a secret that you know they would probably bad things would happen this is the same as this i know it's hard to understand but and it's the same as this the colorations changed the density uh uh contrast um when you place it close to the brightness of the light source um and change the elementals that's been sprayed in the air you get different color schemes but um you know it's the same thing and you can't see it um take a ride with me though uh pay attention to what i'm showing you the consistency is not in the colors and not what you can see but the the, the shapes and forms behind it um, this device is, you know, easily hidden in the clouds because uh, uh, you can create a cloud with um, a bicycle pump, a little bit of alcohol, and a plastic Coke bottle. Pressurize it, let it go, and watch what happens. Condensation due to the lack of ability to evaporate in time, and you have it. But, you know, wow anyway yeah the spider thing and all that you know that's just something that i stumbled onto it may be something maybe not thanks for watching uh keep coming back damn skippy